Hello guys, meet Shreve and Lando, the two most funniest characters in the Star Wars Battlefront 2. Admiral Versio's people aren't supposed to be here now. We should call Aiden for extraction. Relax, it's one strike team. We'll be fine. And if it's not... Turbo lasers. The Inferno Squad was subsequently integrated into the New Republic military, with Shrift feeling hot spot as its third member. Volunteer for the job by Kalisian himself, Shreve took part in an Inferno mission to infiltrate an abandoned weapon depot on Sulus with General Kalisian in order to secure weapons for the Republic. So, discover that the Imperial forces under Admiral Garrick Fersio, which is Aiden's father, had already captured the facility. Okay, let's get to that central terminal and shut off the power. Hey, we're not dead. Nice. Let's get to that terminal and shut this place down. So the original mission is to shut this place you down and then secure doing, the weapon, right? but the fact that Admiral Garrick Fersio already conquered this facility. Nice. It like makes the Carlisian to change the mission subjective okay, to plan. instead destroying the facility up, altogether right? yes. to prevent the Empire from what getting the weapons. Improvise. You just find us a ride out of here. Whatever gets me farthest from you. While Carlisian flooded the facility with lava, Shreve will capture an ATSD scout walker for them to use to escape. Shreve Sulgav was a Duros Mill soldier who came to join the rebellion against the Galactic Empire as a member of the Alliance to restore the Republic. An officer and pilot, Suga, was the head of Dangerous Surgeon Squadron, thus serving in the the Caution Danger Leader. Over the next three decades, Imperial sympathize organized into the First Order, viewing it as a threat to the New Republic. Form Rebellion leader Leia Organa created the resistance to oppose the First Order and protect the Republic. Sir Gav joined the resistance as a soldier. Lando Carlisian was a human male smuggler, gambler, and card player who became Baron Administrator of Cloud City and later a general in the Rebel Alliance. He was the owner of the Millennium Falcon before losing it to Han Solo in a game of Sabak. After losing the Falcon, Carlisian put an end to his days as smuggler and became an entrepreneur, setting up a small mining operation on the planet Lothal, before eventually becoming the leader of the Cloud City in the skies of the planet Bespin. During the Galactic Civil War, Darth Vader arrived on Cloud City in order to lay a trap for his son, Luke Skywalker. As part of the trap, the Dark Lord of the Sinfort 
Sid forced Coalition into tricking it. a group of rebels including Solo and Princess Leia Organa leading them to Feather himself. The Feather promised to leave Cloud City without an Imperial presence. Coalition felt the deal had been altered to the point where he could no longer tolerate it. Coalition ordered his citizen to the Galactic Empire's presence and impending occupation, and he ordered an evacuation. He helped the rebels try to rescue Solo, who had been frozen in carbonite from Boba Fett, but the bounty hunter escaped. Then Coalition joined the Rebel Alliance and set out to find Solo. After locating him in the palace of Jabba the Hutt on Tatooine, Coalition aided in his rescue. The rebel returned to the fleet and Coalition became a general, volunteering to lead the assault on the Death Star 2 during the Battle of Endor. During the battle, he piloted the Millennium Falcon into the battle station's core, firing the shot which destroyed it. Well, it seems that they were unable to find an Imperial shuttle to escape of it. Then climbing out of the Skywalker, Shreve sarcastically quipped to Lander that this is the conversation, the funniest conversation in life. If I die here, I'm glad you will too. Well, thank you, buddy. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I think that's the most funniest words and things that I could uh, actually heard on the Star Wars Battlefront 2. Destroying that factory had a bigger impact than we thought. Well, however, they were saved by Aiden and the Corvus arriving in the nick of time. Minus the equipment they would have received from Sullust. I expect my father will be there too. But catching him is no longer our priority. This battle could be the end of the war. Let's get in and we do what we can to help. Calls. Too many to count. Del, the Corvus is yours. Cover the sky. Shriv and I will help on the ground. Well, Hold this is the beginning of the end of the I Star know. Wars Battlefront 2's campaign story. Make sure you come back. In the battle of the Jakku, sure Del will handle the Corvus while I don't fish you sure and accompanied by Shriv. <laughs> Thank you, Your means okay, Shrift. <laughs> Don't talk too much. I mean, seriously, this Shrift guy is pretty much amazing. But the conversation is awesome when he was with Lando. I mean, I can see that Iron Fresio is smiling on Shrift, but well, it's not conversation, it's just thinking of the Shrift as funniest guy life and that's it but Lando is the the only one that could understand Shrift I think So I guess this mission is pretty much simple. You have two beacons there and you need to deactivate it both. Kill the enemies alongside it and you're done with it. Straight on to the 
ties. An explosion that size will chain all the way through the ion engine systems. Detonator planted. So while we wait for the iron for shield to plant the detonators, kill the enemies in this beacon area and go to another area to deactivate the other beacons and kill the enemies also. Let's talk about this game. The campaign is awesome. It's sometimes it's not easy to kill the enemies here. And also in the multiplayer game it's not very uh, simple. Maybe because I don't understand the control and I don't have the upgrades as uh, many other players do really purchase uh, the coins or whatever the in-app game money and then they purchase the upgrades and also they are very very good very diligent on the play the games and they can get all the upgrades and it will make them easier to kill us to kill me and, play, and players like me and also the ship things destroying is pretty much un amazing oh I say un amazing because it doesn't amaze me too much and some of the mission in the multiplayer's campaign is uh, multipliers is basically BS one of them is to stop is the killing the enemies that has I mean the players that has great upgrades and you know they using they start using the snipers I will die in a second without knowing where that shot coming from I have noticed one player actually kill the most like 300 enemies I mean players and I only kill 10 well so that is that's the Star Wars Battlefront 2 actually I don't play the Star Wars Battlefront uh, sorry 1 or any other series maybe that come up up there in maybe different from different in different form than this from the graphic itself it's pretty much great and I like it well it's standard it's standard graphic it cannot be com it, it is not comparable to games like the Horizon Zero Dawn but it's the same graphic like you see in the Assassin's Creed Origin or Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Empire dies. Like I then first you'll say it that today Empire dies. 
so my video end here and i'll see you on the next review the end of the star wars battlefront 2 campaign so please don't forget to subscribe like and comment bye bye your father